Dick Carey celebrates some famous local athletes with an Irish heritage for the St. Patrick's Day. Here's this week's Carey's Corner. Top of the evening to those of you who are listening to this commentary on St. Patrick's Day. In honor of this happy occasion, we shall list some of the many Irish-American athletes who have played prominent parts in our sports scene going back more than a century. We will begin with world heavyweight boxing champion John L. Sullivan from Roxbury. When he lost his crown to James J. Corbett, the great John L. told Gentleman Jim that if he had to lose, he was glad it was to an Irishman. Another local colorful boxer who fought in the 1950s was Tommy Collins, who had more guts than brains. In one fight, Tommy was knocked down a dozen times before the referee stopped it. It was that fight that persuaded boxing officials to establish the mandatory three knockdown rule. A couple of all around Irish American athletes who lived half their lives in Needham and excelled in football, hockey, and baseball at Northeastern and Boston College, respectively, were John Tinker Connolly and Paul Carey. In the middle of the last century, the biggest trade the Red Sox ever pulled off was six foot, seven inch Frank Sullivan's leaving and six foot, nine inch Gene Conley's coming to the Sox. Conley is the only man ever to play for the Sox, the Braves, and the Celtics, or what a real Irishman would call the Celtics. Because there is no way we can complete our long list of Irish athletes, we will wrap it up with the names of a few more, many of whom you are familiar with. Maureen Little Mo Conley, tennis, John McGraw and Mark McGuire, baseball, Terry O'Reilly, hockey, Crusher Casey, wrestling, and Tom Brady, football. Erin Gobra, and keep those Irish eyes smiling. Until next week, this is Dick Carey reminding you that at Carey's Corner, you always have someone in your corner.